Hi, I'm Greg Cummings, pharmacist and host of Pharmacy Pearls. In my experience, many healthcare providers remain uncertain about how best to handle a well-known drug interaction between clopidogrel and proton pump inhibitors. In this edition of Pharmacy Pearls, I'm going to summarize an excellent editorial by Dr. David Gerlink, professor of medicine at the University of Toronto, which was published in the journal Circulation in 2009. It discusses the nature of the interaction, its importance for patients, as well as three simple management strategies for dealing with it. Please stay tuned to the end of the video for a link to the article. First of all, clopidogrel is used to prevent heart attack, stroke, and vascular death in people with established heart disease. It is a prodrug meaning that it gets converted to its active form within the body, in this case through metabolism by multiple liver enzymes, with one called CYP2C19 being of particular importance. Similarly, proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs for short, also get metabolized by CYP2C19. As a result, when taken together, the two medications inhibit the activity of the enzyme through mutually exclusive competition for metabolism. It is this process that forms the theoretical basis for the drug interaction. For people taking clopidogrel, the prodrug, this could possibly mean a higher risk of dying. In light of this, and the fact that tens of millions of people take these medications together, it certainly merits careful consideration. At the same time, there are several reasons to believe that the magnitude of the interaction is small. To begin with, while PPIs lower the effect of clopidogrel, they do not abolish it. In other words, despite the interaction, clopidogrel will still continue to exert some effect. Additionally, the interaction notwithstanding, clopidogrel itself has only a modest benefit. For instance, Dr. Gerlink alludes to the CURE study wherein one person benefited from treatment for every 47 people taking clopidogrel, the other 46 did not, and you can't be harmed by this interaction if you are not destined to benefit from treatment in the first place. Finally, the effect of clopidogrel is only diminished when levels of the PPI are high enough to interfere with its metabolism. Because most PPIs are rapidly eliminated from the body, the combination should only be problematic when taken together in close temporal sequence. In summary, the interaction will be insignificant for most patients. Nonetheless, there are three simple management strategies to easily deal with this interaction in clinical practice. First of all, you should assess the need for a PPI in the first place. While necessary for some patients, in many cases a medication like ranitidine or an antacid will suffice. Next, consider using pantoprazole first line if a PPI is required, because evidence suggests that it is the most favorable agent within the class. Conversely, lanzoprazole is the most potent CYP2C19 inhibitor and is likely best avoided. Lastly, stagger the dosing of the two medications. If the PPI is given at least four hours after clopidogrel, it should minimize the risk of interaction. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you now understand how best to handle the drug interaction between clopidogrel and proton pump inhibitors. To read the editorial on which this video is based, visit pharmacypearls.com slash clopidogrel PPI. For more pharmacy pearls, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.